We have uh, some breaking news for you right now at MSNBC. The White House fire trucks are outside and a decontamination unit is set up there. Uh, NBC's Jim Likoshevsky joins me live on the phone from the White House. Uh, what are we hearing and seeing about this suspicious package here? Uh, well, we're not hearing anything, but we're seeing an awful lot. Uh, the, the White House went down in, into essentially lockdown uh, maybe about 20 minutes ago, uh, but it was only about uh, 15 minutes ago that fire trucks started to arrive. And, and as you saw just a moment ago in that picture, uh, they had set up a portable decontamination unit. We've seen firefighters and other emergency personnel getting into hazmat suits, uh, and as you can see, through the fence into the White House grounds, uh, there are firefighters there with their oxygen tanks, their air tanks on their backs, and in, uh, in uh, uh, hazmat suits, uh, uh, at least partially. Now, we were told originally that somebody had apparently tossed a package over the fence. There didn't be, appear at first to be too much frenetic activity inside the White House grounds. Uh, but as you see here, uh, for the first time, according to veterans here at the White House, this is the first time they have ever seen a portable uh, decontamination unit uh, set up outside the White House. Uh, again, we have no idea what the package may contain, what the package looks like, but clearly uh, these professionals that, that do this, uh, this kind of thing for a living are highly suspicious uh, as to what they found, and they've called in all this extra gear. We have yet had anybody uh, connected to the White House or Secret Service give us any explanation uh, as to why all this activity is going on. Mick, uh, where was the president? Uh, the president, as far as we know, is in the White House. Whether he's, he's in the residence or the West Wing is unclear. Uh, but as you know, uh, he had gone over to Arlington ceremony this morning for the Memorial Day ceremonies, the laying of the wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldiers, or unknowns rather, uh, and then his speech at the uh, amphitheater there. And, uh, and he returned uh, uh, probably about uh, going maybe close to an hour ago now. Uh, and, uh, and the White House announced at the time uh, that there was a travel lid, meaning uh, that reporters could and can crews could stand down uh, because the president apparently has no intention to leave the compound. Uh, and, uh, and there's no sense here uh, that the president or first family uh, or anybody in the White House is in any imminent danger. And what's going on here may be out of an abundance of caution. Because again, the activity is not frenetic, uh, but certainly setting up a decontamination unit and seeing these firefighters and others dressed in hazmat gear with their tanks uh, indicates that this is a, uh, a suspicious, highly suspicious package uh, that was apparently uh, thrown into over the fence and into the White House grounds. Mick, as we look at these live pictures uh, on the right hand side, the uh, fire truck that you're alluding to, it appears at the portable decontamination unit. Uh, that could be that, uh, that red structure on the left hand side of the picture, which you may be looking at. Give us a sense of where this is located on the White House grounds. Uh, well, this is uh, uh, at uh, the west gate of the North Lawn. As you face the White House, uh, this would be the entrance that you see uh, on the right side. Mm. Okay. Uh, of the White House. There's, there's a guardhouse there. It's where most, uh, most of uh, us grunt media enter the White House every day. We get checked in, we, get, we go through the metal detectors uh, before we're allowed inside the White House. Uh, and as you can see, that gentleman right there is walking toward the guard post uh, uh, to, uh, to our right. And it appears, and you see the door opening, so he's gone inside. Now, not everybody is dressed in hazmat gear. Right. So it must, it, it must be an object that they have yet decided to move. Uh, 
because uh, as we see this one gentleman in the foreground, uh, he started out with his hazmat suit just halfway down his waist, and now he's got it uh, fully up his his his. Uh, oxygen tank, air tank on the back, and, and the hood, uh, which he would obviously pull up over his head if it's deemed necessary. Uh, but again, uh, no frenetic activity, uh, very calm, very mm-hmm. methodical, uh, but it's something that's never been seen outside uh, the White House before. Uh, g- give us a sense here, Mick, uh, of the distance of where this red structure on the left is, which looks to be portable on the right-hand side, the fire truck. What's the distance from there to the actual structure of the White House? Uh, well, uh, I'm not good at estimating distances, right. but it's got to be at least uh, 100 yards or so. Uh, but uh, uh, that, that portable decontamination unit is set up on Pennsylvania Avenue. Okay. That, that stretch of Pennsylvania Avenue, which was shut down, uh, to any ve- vehicular, civilian vehicular traffic right. uh, back during the Clinton administration. Uh, and it is right outside the gate. Uh, can't tell from this angle whether the gate itself has been opened uh, for access. Uh, but uh, I understand now that, that the gate itself b- behind uh, the, uh, uh, the cont- decontamination uh, is is open and 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 we're seeing more activity uh, just opposite uh, just on the other side of the decontamination unit now uh, more activity in that region uh, as uh, perhaps uh, they're getting ready to uh, uh, remove uh, whatever whatever uh, may have been thrown over into the fence don't don't know what the right kind of package it is, how yeah. big it is. We just don't have any dis- any description. But it's something that obviously set off alarm bells within the security world. You know, this is a uh, holiday weekend. Uh, many people uh, flock to Washington, D.C., beautiful town, uh, headed to the White House, no doubt. Talk about uh, the crowds, the pedestrian access, uh, how busy this area has been over the weekend and the proximity uh, that pedestrians and or tourists uh, have access to this location. Well, as soon as they, uh, the uh, Secret Service locked down the White House, apparently, uh, immediately after whatever was thrown over the fence landed on the White House grounds, uh, they have a procedure here of locking down uh, those inside the White House. Uh, and uh, at the same time, they clear Lafayette Park, which is right across the street, right across Pennsylvania Avenue, mm-hmm. uh, from uh, from the White House. Now, this area, particularly on a day like Memorial Day, was flooded with tourists and, and uh, uh, both the park and Pennsylvania Avenue uh, were pretty much uh, uh, flooded by uh, tourists. Uh, but it didn't take the Secret Service very long to clear out that area, and it remains cleared as of now. Uh, again, uh, this is a very slow, deliberate process, whatever they're going through here. But I noticed that some of the firefighters on the opposite side through that fence uh, have now pulled their hoods up over the over their heads. Uh, that could mean that they're prepared to move, uh, uh, w- remove uh, whatever object it may have been that was thrown over the fence. Jim Miklaszewski uh, covering the White House for us today. Uh, these sorts of events you're very experienced in watching uh, and analyzing for us. And for those who have just joined us here on MSNBC, a suspicious package outside the White House. Uh, the president is inside after being at Arlington Cemetery earlier for Memorial Day, uh, uh, his activities there earlier. It is now 1.50 local time on a, on a busy uh, tourist day, as Mick was just descri- uh, describing to us. Jim Miklaszewski, thank you so much for that. We're going to uh, look into this further. Of course, keep an eye on what is happening there on the suspicious package outside the White House, and we'll have more for you here. But for now, we're going to take a short break and be right back. I'm Steve Kornacki, live at MSNBC World Headquarters in New York. We come to you this hour with breaking news at the White House. Fire trucks are outside there. A decontamination unit has been set up. NBC's Jim Miklaszewski joins me live on the phone from the White House. So, Jim, what is the latest we know about this situation? 
Well, Steve, we do know that uh, there was a package uh, or container of some kind that was thrown over the White House fence uh, uh, at about 1.15 uh, this afternoon. And because this package is on the White House compound, uh, the Secret Service is the lead agency in all this. Uh, but about 15 minutes after that, uh, the fire department arrived uh, and immediately set up a, a portable decontamination unit. The picture we're looking at now, however, is through the fence. Uh, uh, and we can see a number of agents uh, and in plain clothes uh, and uh, with bulletproof vests on. But we've also seen some of the fire uh, department rescue and, and uh, security people that were uh, wearing decontamination suits. As this shot pulls out now, we can see that uh, red and gray decontamination unit, portable unit, uh, set up just outside the gate uh, on the north lawn. It's the it's the west side gate uh, to the North Lawn, uh, where many dignitaries, state dinners, they go through that gate uh, to drive up to the front of the, for front of the White House and enter. And to the right of that, behind the fire truck on the right, is one of the uh, primary uh, Secret Service guardhouses, uh, where we as reporters and camera crews have to check in, show passes, and we get, uh, we get screened, uh, just like everybody, through metal detectors uh, every day to come in here. Now, there's no indication. And as you can see, uh, the, the, the activity is not very frenetic, uh, but you, we see now one, one person behind the fence pulling up his protective gear, his hazmat suit, uh, just pulled it up, and uh, uh, he's got, uh, I can't tell what he's doing now, but it appears that he's heading toward where we suspect the package may be, uh, but it looked like he was getting suited up. No idea that this this package can it actually presents any threat, uh, but in an overabundance of caution, and also uh, it, 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 the old timers here uh, and the, the, the pros uh, said this is the first time ever that they've seen a portable decontamination un unit set up outside the White House in, in one of these situations. So there must be something highly suspicious, potentially threatening about this package uh, that caused them to go to those extremes. All right, Jim Miklaszewski live at the White House joining us on the phone. Thanks, Jim, for that. And, of course, you're looking at those live pictures there outside the White House, just learning the details. Uh, much more we're going to find out about the situation. We're keeping a close eye on it. We're going to keep you updated throughout the hour as we learn more and as we keep an eye on that. Also happening right now, why?